What's going on everyone? It's your boy Sen Hyperion back at it again with another Halo 5 map feature. You might recognize this as a remix of the infamous Halo Reach map, The Cage. This version in particular is by Project 113. Now, I'm no dummy. I already know that there are a thousand other remakes and remixes of The Cage floating around out there. So what makes this one special? We're gonna dive into that in a moment, but I want to take this time to beg the Halo gods for forgiveness. My DMR game was atrocious in this match, and I'm sure Sen Hyperion from 2010 would scoff at my handling here. Now, back to the map. As I've stated in previous features of remakes and remixes, I look for two primary things. The map either has to be so high quality that it's either a spitting image of the original or even better. Either that, or the author has to rock the layout with a stellar, immersive, and impressive new theme. This version of the cage accomplishes the latter of the two. If you remember the cage's original look, the primary structure just kind of floated above Forge World with no real justification for it. I understand it was a reach map, but it always has been one of my primary hangups with it. On top of that, there was no greater unifying theme. The style was... Halo Reach Forge objects, so Forerunner, I guess, maybe? Project 113's re-indition of the cage takes that sentiment and runs with it. Now it's almost a cyberpunk, techie platform that is both justified in its placement and geometry. Project did an amazing job of ripping the layout from the cage and meshing it with a new art style that in my opinion is far more fitting than the originals. On top of that, there's some pretty solid piece use and strategic item placement to better convey the theme. I really like how these two large support struts hang out above the map and they tether the primary play spaces to it. In fact, the section of the map rooted into the cliff face has some awesome pipe and tech work and looks really natural that way. Not impressed yet? Well, this map does not slack in the gameplay division either. Project has made tweaks and adjustments to both the map's size and scaling to fully accommodate for Halo 5's natural movement system. No special game types needed here, and I find that extremely beneficial. Since the map naturally accommodates Halo 5's movement, you get to approach the cage in ways you couldn't before. I actually had a blast fully exploiting the range of armor abilities in the game to change how I approach fights and traverse the map. This also accentuates just how killer the verticality is on the cage and I never really noticed that back on Reach. Now don't get me wrong, this is still the cage and catwalks are the name of the game. I cut a few suicides out of this vid, but I'm sure if you approach this map as eagerly as I did, you'll end up with a few of your own. A video does not do it justice, trust me. There are few older Halo maps that translate well into Halo 5, and Project 113 has done a great job bringing the cage to Halo 5 in a way that's both familiar and accommodative. So what are you waiting for? Go bookmark it, the link's in the description. While you're down there, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. Drop a comment, and be sure to follow me on Twitter. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.